Hello and welcome to the next video in the A-Level Biology series. In this video we will discuss selection and evolution. In this video we will cover natural and artificial selection, evolution and speciation, and extinction. All living organisms have the potential to reproduce and have offspring, contributing to the population growth. However, environmental factors can impact the rate of population growth and the ability for individuals to reproduce. These environmental factors can be abiotic, non-living, such as light availability, water and soil pH. Biotic is other living organisms, such as predators and disease. Main examples of environmental factors are Competition for food and mating Amount of water supply Habitat loss Overexploitation such as fishing and hunting And temperature caused by climate change The combined effect of these environmental factors leads to a decline or stabilisation in population growth as not all individuals reach adulthood or are unable to reproduce these environmental factors apply what is known as selection pressure to an organism's ability to survive. Selection pressure is an increase in the chance of individuals with a specific phenotype surviving over others in certain environmental conditions. Natural selection refers to the survival and reproduction of individuals due to differences in phenotype. An individual with more favourable phenotype for surviving a particular environment are more likely to survive and pass their alleles on to their offspring. Variation exists within a species population. Some individuals possess different phenotypes due to genetic variation in their alleles. Environmental factors affect the chance of survival acting as selection pressure. These favourable phenotypes are often reflected as fitness. They possess traits which help them to survive and adapt to the environment. For example, in rabbits is the variation of fur colour. Brown fur is a dominant trait and white fur is recessive. Foxes are natural predators of rabbits, which gives us the selection pressure. Rabbits with white fur are less likely to camouflage as well as brown fur, so they are less likely to survive than brown fur rabbits. Therefore, brown fur rabbits are more likely to survive and reproduce and pass down the brown fur colouring to their offspring. Two white fur parents have a 100% chance of producing white fur offspring. However, a white and brown fur parent has a 50% chance of producing white fur rabbits. With less white fur rabbits surviving, we are likely to see fewer white rabbits in the next generation. This can be called genetic drift. Genetic drift is the change in the frequency of an existing gene variant in a population. This can be shown as increasing or decreasing the expression of a particular variant of a gene over time. There are three types of selection which occur in nature which are shown in the phenotypic distribution curves. First is stabilizing. This is when an intermediate phenotype is favoured over two extremes, far left and right of the bell curve, resulting in the removal of the extreme phenotypes and leaves the phenotypic distribution clustered in the centre. This is seen when the environmental conditions are stable and competition is low. For example, in humans, stabilising selection is birth weights. Too large increases the risk of birth complications and too small increases the risk of infant mortality. Second is directional. This is when one phenotype extreme is favored over the other phenotypic extreme. This causes the phenotypic distribution to shift in one direction. This occurs during gradual and sustained changes in the environment. This is typically followed by stabilizing selection. An example is the development of antibiotic resistance in bacterial populations. Thirdly is disruptive selection. 
This is when both phenotypic extremes are favoured over the intermediate phenotype. This causes the phenotypic distribution to deviate from the centre, resulting in a bimodal distribution, causing two peaks of two different extremes. Continued separation of phenotypic variants may eventually split the population into two distinct subpopulations. This is known as speciation. A widely studied example of disruptive selection is London's peppered moths. In rural areas, the lighter coloured moths are more likely to survive than darker coloured, whereas in industrial areas, dark coloured moths are more likely to survive by blending in with the pollution. So now these types of moths are segregated to the more favourable environments. Artificial selection is the process by which humans choose organisms with desirable traits and selectively breed to enhance the expression of these traits over time. Such as disease resistance, drought tolerance and heat tolerance. This is also known as breeding, which can be applied to animals and plants. The main principles of breeding are 1. A population shows phenotypic variation. 2. The breeder selects an individual with desired phenotype, for example, high yielding wheat, which will be parent A. 3. Another individual with a desirable trait is selected, for example, shorter stem wheat, which will be parent B. 4. A and B are bred together. 5. The offspring is grown to maturity and tested for the desired trait. 6. This continues for many generations until the offspring display the desired traits, or homogeneity. Evolution is the change in characteristics of a species over several generations, relying on natural selection. There are three types of evolution. 1. Convergent evolution. This is when the same adaptations occur independently, but under similar selection pressures. For example, birds and bats and flying insects have evolved the ability to fly, but independently to each other. 2. It's co-evolution. This is when two or more species have evolved alongside each other, where one evolves to adapt to the changes in the other. For example, flowering plants and their pollinating insects. 3. Adaptive radiation. This is when a species splits into different forms to take benefit from the environment, such as new resources and responding to new challenges. For example, the Galapagos finches with their beaks adapted to different kinds of food which were available on the different islands. Speciation is the formation of a new species from pre-existing species over time, caused by evolution. There are two types. 1. Allopatric speciation. This is the most common method of speciation. This is caused by geographical isolation of a population into two or more groups caused by distance or physical barriers. This means no genetic exchange can occur between the two groups. Selection pressures and genetic drift act to change the gene pools within the separated populations eventually leading to divergence and the formation of a separate species. 2. Sympatric speciation This takes place with no geographical barriers. There is no gene flow occurring between the two populations. This can be caused by Ecological separation The same populations can be separated by living in different areas within the same area. Behavioural separation. Populations can be separated due to different behaviours such as feeding, communication and social behaviour. Extinction is when a species comes to an end or dies out. This can happen gradually over time or be sudden. Mass extinctions were likely caused by major and sudden shifts in the environment, such as an ice age or an asteroid. Here are possible causes of extinction. 
climate change, causing a change in habitat such as ice melting, temperature and acidity of the ocean, and rising sea levels. Competition, limited supply of resources such as food, water, habitat and mates. Introduction of new species such as invasive species and predation. Hunting by humans or over-exploitation. Degradation and habitat loss, such as deforestation, draining wetlands and pollution of water, soil and air. To summarise, natural selection is a natural process in which species respond to changes in the environment to adapt and survive. There are three types, stabilising, disruptive and directional selection. Artificial selection is how humans can choose which genetic traits they desire in an organism by breeding two parents with desirable traits. Evolution is the changing characteristics of a species over several generations, relying on natural selection. Examples are co-evolution, convergent evolution and adaptive radiation. Speciation is when a new species is formed from pre-existing species over time as a result of changes in gene pools from generation to generation, established by the environment. Allopatric speciation is when there is a physical barrier or distance between populations. Sympatric is when the populations are not isolated but exhibit different living conditions and behaviours leading to population isolation. Extinction is when a species comes to an end with no individuals left in the environment. This can be caused by climate change, overexploitation, competition and habitat loss. This concludes today's video on selection and evolution. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope to see you next week for genetic engineering.